Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills, this is Brock Shimano. Today is Friday the 22nd for the weekly wrap up. Let's get right into Firetip trading platform, see where we closed off the day here. Corn trading down a quarter of a cent, beans down 28 cents, wheat in Chicago down seven and three quarters, and Kansas City wheat trading off eight cents. Now soybeans is really where the action was. We actually had an opportunity to go over 15. We did trade over 15 in the overnight session. We saw some selling as soon as the pit opened up and that selling just started to unravel, kind of snowball, and we closed off near the lows. Do you think technically that the damage is done and that we'll start uh, drifting lower here in the weeks to come? Or is there a possibility we could move over 15 uh, later on next week? You know, I think that $15 level is still going to be technical resistance. We did go quite a bit above it in the overnight session, but I think that was on light volume. We saw a lot of buy stops probably get hit, and then we ended up selling down below and actually selling off sharply into the close. So I think that $15 resistance level is still intact. I think we're definitely going to have to pay attention to it as we move forward, but you know, my, my thought are we're going to move sideways to lower into next week. Yeah, you definitely have a couple different scenarios here. You know, in terms of export sales, today we got both good and bad news. Export sales were released and really last week's uh, exports were net reduction. Now we got to take into consideration that that was the Chinese uh, Lunar New Year. They were out of the market, but as soon as the market opened up this week, we saw them back in buying. We saw 120,000 metric tons sold on the 19th. We saw more sales on the, the 21st, and today we got another 60,000 metric tons of old crops sold. So the bottom line is we do continue to see demand from China, and a lot of that is coming from the fact that Brazil seems to be having some potential logistical issues down there. Uh, they're, they're possible strikes on the docks. They have huge waiting lines. The ships lined up down there to get filled uh, as this new crop comes out of the field. They have the largest crop uh, that they've ever grown coming out of the fields. They've got some new, um, new laws down there in terms of transportation. So do you think that there's going to be some logistical issues? And if so, will that put enough of a bid under here to maybe uh, move the market a little higher? You know, I think if we do continue to see some of those logistical issues pop up, we could see some of the export sales come back to the United States. We've had pretty poor sales over the last couple of weeks or so, uh, partly due to China being on Lunar New Year, but that's something we will have to pay attention to as we move forward. If they continue to have logistical problems, look for some of those sales come back to the United States. Yeah, that sounds fair enough. Now, one of the things that we did uh, have going on today was the Ag Outlook Forum. Maybe you could break that down. What does it mean for producers? Yeah, if we take a look at this table here, you can see that the bottom two lines of what we really want to pay attention to, uh, which is the ending stocks for next year and also the, the net crop price that what the USDA is expecting. Uh, you can see here that we had over 2 billion bushels expected uh, for next year's ending stocks on corn, soybeans up to 250. Not a big increase on the soybean number, but the corn number is nearly three times larger than what we're seeing this year. So that's definitely going to put some pressure on prices if we have near trend line yields. That's the big question going yeah, forward. Yeah, and of course, you know, trend line yields are going to be hard because we we have a very uh, we have a deficit of moisture throughout the Midwest. But that brings us over to weather. Before we sign out here today, let's just take a quick look at the uh, the weather forecast. Uh, just keep in mind that we do have a storm. We had it move through the Midwest and the Plains region between the 20th and the 23rd. We're gonna have a second storm between the 23rd and the 27th. All in all, that should drop between one and three inches of liquid moisture here. That's gonna be very positive, especially as this wheat crop that has been suffering so bad uh, starts to move out, in, out of dormancy. So I, I think that's one of the reasons why we continue to see pressure in the wheat complex. That pressure in the wheat complex could drag corn along with it. Uh, just watch out, keep a close watch on this weather, see how it develops. Uh, and, uh, and I think that's going to be a trend here moving forward, just seeing uh, some of this moisture. But that pretty much wraps up uh, Friday's show here. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, remember, you can follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook. Thanks a lot, and 